¿Quién iba a creer que, un, que el ejército te iba a matar a un hermano tuyo sabiendo que era un pelado de la casa, que no tenía malas costumbres, que no era guerrillero, que no era paraco, que no era nada? ¿En qué cabeza te creías tú? On July 25th, Colombia's special jurisdiction for peace or the JEP charged 22 former members of the army, one state official and two civilians with war crimes and crimes against humanity. The JEP determined that the members of the 16th Brigade killed 303 innocent people between 2005 and 2008 in the Casanare department and then framed them to government authorities as left-wing guerrilla fighters killed in combat to obtain rewards. These extrajudicial executions are known as false positives in Colombia. They took place during the rule of far-right President Alvaro Uribe, which lasted from 2002 to 2010. Under its democratic security program, the Uribe administration rewarded military officials for these extrajudicial killings with promotions, vacations, and other benefits. In February 2021, the JEP reported that the Colombian military carried out more than 6,400 such extrajudicial killings. Human rights groups and the families of victims have said the real number could be much higher. These incidents were spread across different departments of Colombia. On July 27, JEP charged 10 former members of the army for similar crimes in the department of Antigua between the years 2002 to 2006. The armed personnel were accused of murdering 46 victims in the municipalities of Dabiba and Ituano. A few days before that, members of the La Popa Army Battalion confessed to participating in the extrajudicial killings of 127 people between 2002 to 2005. Entonces esta audiencia es la oportunidad para que los máximos responsables reconozcan públicamente frente a las víctimas y frente al país su responsabilidad en el plan criminal en virtud del cual fueron asesinadas y desaparecidas 127 personas que fueron presentadas como bajas en combate entre los años 2002 y 2005 por integrantes del batallón de artillería número 2 La Popa con sede en esta ciudad, en la ciudad de Valledupar. En este día vengo a reconocer mi responsabilidad por los crímenes que cometí cuando fui miembro del Ejército Nacional, siendo orgánico del Batallón de Artillería número 2 La Popa, desempeñándome como soldado de los grupos especiales Arpaso, Arpón y los pelotones Ar Albardón 1 y bombarda 6. Yo sé el dolor grande que le ha dejado a las víctimas en todos los casos y no soy merece, merecedor, no me merezco su perdón porque en ese entonces era una persona sin corazón y un monstruo que fue entrenado en el batallón La Popa solo para matar. In the July 25th session, the JEP stated that the defendants used deception to attract the victims and that after killing them, they equipped their dead bodies with weapons, ammunition and clothing to pass them off as combatants and recreated fictitious combat scenarios to make their version of events credible. The JEP added that all those responsible followed the line of conduct promoted by their commander. These were not isolated acts or acts committed spontaneously and that it was a criminal plan that had its objectives, resources, roles and modes of operation. It was aimed at consolidating territories and showing progress in the war against the guerrillas. The soldiers used more than 140 million pesos, which is approximately 31,000 US dollars, from public resources to finance these criminal actions. JEB also reported that these crimes represented almost two-thirds of the results reported by the military unit during the set period. The majority of the victims were men between the ages of 18 and 25. The military also murdered nine women, one of whom was pregnant, and a young man with diverse sexual orientation who was persecuted for his sexuality. The JEP was also able to establish that the military used children and adolescents to participate in these hostilities. For these reasons, for the first time, the JEP charged the defendants with war crimes and crimes against humanity. In April, 10 retired members of the military had confessed to kidnapping and murdering over 100 civilians and framing them as guerrilla fighters. The JEP is expected to issue a resolution in their case in the coming days. The special tribunal has the authority to offer 
alternatives to prison sentences to people who confess their crimes and make reparations.